In this Debaco University video, we're going to be covering CBD and CBDA cannabinoids, uh, commonly referred to as cannabidiol. All right, so you may have heard of CBD or cannabidiol. This is the molecular structure. Here we're going to be getting into CBD as well as CBDA uh, regarding cannabinoids produced by cannabis plants. So first off, here's a great research article you're welcome to take a look at. Some information is pulled from here. It goes from many uh, other cannabinoids as well. So here's the proper citation if you want to learn about these in even more detail than presented here. So we're looking at conversion by heat here. Uh, CBDA is converted to CBD by heat. Hemp, which is classified as cannabis containing less than 0.3% total THC, is often grown for the production of CBD or cannabidiol. CBD has dozens of known therapeutic uses, including the reduction of inflammation, and in some cases, often anecdotally, the reduction of anxiety. So here we're seeing the CBDA, we're adding heat, and that we're generating the CBD and carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Keep in mind that too should be down here from a true chemical standpoint, um, as a chemist kind of don't like the fact that, C that the 2 in CO2 is written as a superscript when it actually should be a subscript. Check the description for the citation of that source. So CBDA synthesis, so what we're looking at and how we're going about synthesizing this. Well, CBDA is synthesized uh, by CBDA synthase, which is expressed by type 3 or BDBD uh, plants. Although types 2 and 3 are used for hemp production, only type 3 plants will remain compliant through maturity. And that compliant is having a lower um, than 0.3% THC. The reduction in the, uh, the, should say the reaction by which CBDA synthesis produces CBDA from CBGA creates phytotoxic byproducts and therefore takes place in the apoplactic space of the trichome secretory vesicle, uh, much like THCA. So what does this kind of summary mean? Well, because we're having uh, other byproducts being produced by this process, this is occurring uh, within the trichome, but in the apoplastic space, because the plant needs to go through and kind of detoxify some other products or rid itself of some other waste products that are being converted or generated as part of this uh, conversion process through enzymes. So looking at CBD related to seizures in particular, it has been clinically proven that CBD is a remarkable effective treatment in severe epileptic seizures. Charlotte Figge became a poster child for CBD seizure medications and helped create advocacy, which led to the introduction of this particular um, prescribed uh, or prescription, I should say, uh, Epidiolex, uh, for an extremely successful medicine for childhood epileptic seizures. Uh, there's a great video here on Tobacco University that goes into a little bit more about Charlotte Figge. Uh, sadly, passed away at the age of 13, who is said to have done a lot of good for the cannabis industry in general. So when we talk about the commercially available CBD, CBD is widely used and accepted cannabinoid available on the commercial market. There's a lot of products there. However, keep in mind that anything you're looking at potentially purchasing, you should be getting an analytical report that will not only gives you the compounds that it contains, but proof that it has passed all, sort of all the regulations necessary beyond just a flashy label. Be sure that you are an informed consumer with any products you're looking at purchasing.